Hurricane Sandy hasn't even arrived in America yet. The eye of the storm doesn't get here for hours. But the effects are already being felt up and down the East Coast. This is what the sea off New York City looks like. No wonder people are getting ready. We got two cases of water. We got a cooler. We had to go to Bad Beth and Beyond and get a radio. And the only thing they had left was like shower radios. So when we got batteries and we got food. Well, I think people should take it easy, be careful. Uh, if people are still out on the road, drive safe. Um, and get your food, get your supplies. Don't be fooled. Don't look out the window and say, well, you know what, it doesn't look so bad. Uh, the worst uh, is still coming. So keep yourself safe and uh, use common sense. It's not just New York that's in the sights of this super storm. Its super size means 50 million people could be affected. It's likely to collide with two weather systems, a cold front coming from Canada to the north and the wintry storm coming from the west. But it's not just the scale of it that's making meteorologists nervous. You must evacuate the zone by 7 p.m. today. Any There's the fact that it doesn't seem to be in any kind of hurry. It could linger for 36 hours. The misery could go on for days. New York City is virtually at a standstill. 400,000 people have been ordered to leave their homes. Trains, buses, the underground and flights have been cancelled. The chaos is being felt across the country. Millions are expected to be without power, possibly for days. We're making sure that all of our trucks are fueled, that we have adequate uh, poles and transformers and other equipment uh, at the ready. Hurricane Sandy is already having a dramatic effect on the election. President Obama has returned to Washington. Now in command of this emergency, it's hard to see him out campaigning anytime soon. Sandy may be moving slowly towards the shore, but time is running out to get out of its way. Zoe Conway, BBC News, Washington.